Hey everyone, this is going to be our Season 6 premiere for Arrow. This episode was titled Fallout. And just a heads up before we start this review, unfortunately due to the CW and Warner Brothers TV claiming any video that has one of their images in it, for now we're going to have to use, use a stock image that is kind of fan art and we're trying to figure out a workaround for it, but this is just for the time being. So as for my first impressions of this season, I think they are very strong. I really enjoyed this episode a lot and there are going to be some spoilers in my review towards the end of it, but here we go. So we begin this episode five months after the season five finale and the destruction of Lian Yu. The flashbacks in this episode help provide clarity and answers for exactly what happened right after the bombs went off, and we get to see Oliver, Slade, and the other team members that survived trying to figure out who's still alive and running around the island trying to find who actually survived the explosions. Now back in the present day, Oliver is having to deal with a bunch of different things, one of which is actually being a father to William. Because, spoiler alert here, it's revealed that Samantha actually died on Lian Yu, and the problem that he's having with the son William is that William blames Oliver for his mother's death, so he's trying to figure out how to be a father figure to him, even though William kind of resents him. So that's a very interesting uh, character growth and arc that he's going to have to figure out throughout the season, hopefully. One of the other interesting tidbits of this episode is that Black Siren actually survived Lian Yu as well, and she breaks into the Arrow Cave with a bunch of her goons that she's bringing along and the team are there to stop her but she escapes with something they don't know what or why she broke into their aero cave and it turns out that she actually stole one of mr terrific's t-spheres but thankfully it was a prototype so it wasn't weaponized yet and they're trying to figure out what exactly she can do with the t-sphere now that's kind of the gist of the plot uh, a lot of the characters are still reeling with like i said stuff that happened in the finale lian yu of course at the end of season five uh, Lance actually had to kill Black Siren, which to him is Laurel, but it's not exactly his Laurel, but you know, in his eyes, and it was a really tough decision for him to make to actually shoot her to save Dinah, and that was a very big character moment for him, and he's still reeling with the after effects of that decision, kind of the PTSD of it. I do enjoy that. A lot of this episode felt really good because it was kind of like a how-to lesson on to do a series premiere when you had such a big finale like that in season 5, where you you really focus on the characters this episode you focus on where they're at and what that finale did to them uh, internally this was by far the strongest of all of the CW premieres this week as I didn't like the flash too much and I heard that legends was just sort of so so I didn't watch Supergirl either but not too sure what to think of that but like I said this is a very strong episode I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 actually I didn't have too many problems with it I guess apart from maybe we didn't learn too much about certain characters or some of the other characters are kind of side shafted. We didn't get to explore them too much, but I guess that'll be subsequent episodes. So spoiler warning here, again at the end of the episode, it was revealed that a news report actually has a photograph of Oliver unmasked in the Green Arrow suit, and that's how they end this episode. Big cliffhanger to open up what's going to come. So like I said, this is a great episode. I can't wait to see what's going to happen this season of Arrow. Definitely pulled me back into the show with this episode though. But leave your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you guys think of the season premiere? Do you like it? Did you not like it? It. Where do you think it ranks among the other shows that came back this week? Drop all that down in the comments below and for more reviews of Arrow and the rest of the CW DC shows, subscribe to Hybrid Network. Thanks again for checking out this review. If you want to get even more updates from us on our social media platforms, check out the links down below. And if you want to see our content improve, donate to us on Patreon for exclusive rewards.